Sticking this tape together and then pulling it apart creates light. It's a little too bright in here to see it. Let's dim the lights a bit. This effect is something called tribal luminescence, and it's actually not fully understood what's causing that light to appear. It seems to be something about the reunification of charges that are created by pulling things apart. As in, when I pull on that tape, it causes some things to get torn off of each other, but then they snap back into place, releasing a lot of energy. Something interesting about it, I really wish I could show you, but I can't, is that if you do this with the right kind of tape in a really, really good vacuum, instead of a visible blue light, you can actually get x-rays. And I say I can't show you that because I literally am not able. The equipment you need to get a good enough vacuum to create x-rays is really, really expensive. Like, maybe in the millions of dollars. I just can't replicate that pulling with my hands. I've mentioned that tribal luminescence is not terribly well understood, and it can be frustrating when you're trying to research an interesting scientific concept that isn't well known. A major challenge isn't just grasping the science, it's sifting through the sources to find what's actually accurate. Which is why I'm stoked to have Ground News as the sponsor of today's video. Ground News is a website that compiles over 50,000 sources, so you can get a wide range of perspectives in one place. It also shows you the bias of each source and how reliable the reporting practices there are. And all of this listed information is backed by three independent news monitoring organizations. Here's an example around measles and vaccinations. I found this story on Ground News about how the US may have millions more measles cases over the next 25 years if childhood vaccination rates continue to decline, according to the study. Important, right? Now, here's the catch. Over 100 different outlets have covered this story on Ground News. If your algorithm mostly serves you right-leaning content, you might not even see this story. This is a part I love. Ground News lets you see a variety of perspectives side by side so you can see how different outlets report on the same story. For this measles story, the journal focused on misinformation as a key driver for this outbreak, while The Blade emphasized the impact of declining childhood vaccinations. With Ground News, you get to look at the full context and decide for yourself. This is incredibly valuable and useful in today's media-heavy world. This is one tool I now use to to make sure that I'm not in an echo chamber and that I stay as accurate as possible with my information. And if you're into a specific topic, like I am with tech, you can follow interest pages that share top stories of the day. So if you'd like to stay accurately informed, subscribe at ground.news slash NFTI or click the link in the description below to get 40% off of the Vantage plan for unlimited access, which is the same one I use and it comes out to about $5 a month. Or you can scan my QR code. That's ground.news news slash NFTI. There are still a lot of really cool things we can see with this effect. One of the most common ways people might run into this effect is by opening the packaging on bandages. The glue that holds these together is actually going to create that same effect as the tape when you peel it apart. Again, we need better and by that I mean darker lighting. This isn't just some camera trick that you can only see with fancy settings. Like, this is actually what it looks like to my eyes. Another popular way to see this effect is by crushing mints. And it doesn't work with every kind, but I know it does work with the Lifesaver brand Wintergreen, so that's what we're using. My, uh, my studio may never be free of mint powder again, but it is a cool effect. I want to try one more thing with it. I saw some. I don't know how much, but I saw some. So as you can see, this effect is very cool, but it's also very difficult to film. That flash of light from the breaking mints happens extremely quickly, and it's a very dim light, and cameras have a hard time really grabbing onto dim light. Smarter Every Day, the channel has a few videos about this same topic, including some really cool slow-mo shots of one of these mints cracking in slow motion. You can see the light and where it appears. That's also really neat. And he had a new video even more recently exploring mechanoluminescence, the subcategory of tribal 
bioluminescence that is from things breaking apart like this even more. Both great videos, you should check them out. But I do want to keep exploring ways that we can see this effect better, maybe on camera and in person ourselves. So next up, I've taken a bunch of the pieces that I've just created by smashing up my mints, and I've got them in a spice grinder. Let's see what that looks like. So you get a little bit of it as you blend it up in the spice grinder, and then you have a lot of just powdered sugar, but it's like mint flavored. Hmm. Mmm, burnt sugar, perfect. Triboluminescence, the word actually comes from Greek words that mean rub and light probably from quartz crystals when rubbed together will do this effect. They'll make a little bit of sparking, glowing light. Not usually in the same bluish color we're seeing, but that's where the word comes from. Most of what we've been doing could not really be considered rubbing light, but I do have a good demonstration that is pretty much rubbing. It's a high friction rubbing. Oh, sounds terribly dirty. This is my belt grinder. So I'm going to use the belt grinder on the mints to see what kind of effect we get. Are we gonna get that glowing blue crackle where the mint is meeting the belt? All right, so we can see that that works, but it's scary. I get so close, because like I'll be pushing it and then I'm focusing on the light or I'm looking at the camera. I don't want to do it with just my bare fingers, but I want to try and get that effect even better and more visible. So I have a plan. I have my lifesaver pusher here. It fits my lifesavers nicely in a track. And then I have a pusher that keeps my fingers away from the belt and I can load up a bunch of them and just push them all into the belt one after another. <laughs> Lock and load. Okay, so now I will be able to push back here and just drive those lifesavers right into the belt one at a time in a very known and uniform spot. My fingers will stay far away from the belt at all times. Perfect. Got one stuck on top. So we got some pretty cool shots of the mints there, but I also wanted to figure out a way to get better shots of the tape peeling. I really like the look of that effect. It's hard to film, not just because of the low light issue, but because when you're pulling and stretching as the tape, you're, you kind of tend to move around. It's hard to keep right in focus. It's hard to stay in the framing of the camera. So I've come up with this little doohickey to try and make a uniform, precise spot where we can watch this effect happen, at least the best that we can capture it. The idea is pretty simple. It's just two wheels that are rolling against each other under slight pressure, and I'm just gonna wrap the tape around the outside of each wheel, like sticky side out, and then put them together. And as I turn it, we should get a tape separation spot that stays in the exact same place. Pull it pretty tight. Put the two slide together. Now as I turn those wheels, you can see right in there, we're gonna get tape stuck together pulling itself apart, and hopefully that'll let us film this effect even better than we have. You can zoom to adjust as needed. Oh, that actually looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So 
So the wintergreen lifesavers work great. Are they the only thing that'll work? How about these other mints? Let's try those. It actually is a tiny bit. Almost none though. So almost none. I, I'm not even positive that I saw any sparks at all. And the main reason for that is the actual thing that's doing the sparking, that's doing the tribal luminescence with the lifesavers is the sugar. The sugar crystals are what is fracturing and giving off that energy. These are sugar free mints and whatever they do have in them doesn't do it nearly as much. But how about this other flavor of orange mint lifesavers? They have sugar in them. So again, virtually nothing, almost no sparks, even though it has the same main ingredient of sugar. Why did the mint ones work and the sugar ones didn't? Well, it turns out wintergreen oil in the wintergreen mints is actually mildly fluorescent. So the energy in ultraviolet that's being given off by the sugar crystals cracking is actually turned into a blue light that we can more easily see. That's pretty cool if you ask me. Tribal luminescence looks pretty cool. What do you think we should try next? Oh, it's probably too bright, huh? As always, a huge thank you shout out to all of our supporters on Patreon. We could not do these videos without you. If you're interested in joining the Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description.